what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is empress gem i dropped the jewels leo you guys are up for your love reading for the first half of january 2021 cross watchers you guys are always welcome but this is for our leo summer rising and venus um if you're looking for a personal all that information is below and guys thank you for your likes comments shares and subscribe so leo we're gonna get straight into it literally i started hearing something approved by little baby so i feel like the en it's the energy of somebody coming through because they feel like they're trying to prove something i don't know if you're really down with it like i feel like you hip to it you know why somebody's coming back around because like they're trying to prove i don't know if they can prove that they like still got you wrapped around their finger or what it is but yeah so spirit let's open up for our leos thank you for the messages Okay, yeah, just hold back from this person because your real love is coming in. But I feel the energy that I'm picking up for this reader, somebody who's coming back because they're trying to prove something, prove that they still got you, like wrapped around their finger or something like that. Okay. I'm going to apply to take yours off the top. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, okay? Yeah, somebody is trying to play in your garden but don't really want to buy the roses. Like, they just want to come and smell them up and touch them up and make it all frivoly and make them die and shit. Or it's like, you know, like, um, in a native culture, what you learn, especially, like, with fruits. But, and then if, you know, you farm or whatever, but this is where you learn it from. That, um, like, if you go to an orchard, they have um, special gloves that they use when they pick the apples and stuff, you know, because of... They're probably like a microfiber or something like that. Because when you touch fruits and the oils and stuff that transfers from your hands... It um, gets into them and it causes the rot. It causes those rot spots. And, you know, that goes with, like, any fruit or vegetable that you touch or whatever. Go, it, it causes those rot spots. So you'll notice, like, when they are plucking fruits and things of that nature, they have on, like, special gloves. So that way the oils and stuff from their hands don't get onto the fruit and it doesn't cause them to rot. That's what I'm feeling like here. Like, somebody is, like, playing in your orchard, in your, your garden or whatever, without gloves on and they're just trying to rot everything up spoil and rot things out okay underneath the deck it has give your relationship a chance partnership uh, work on your partnership I've, yeah that's what this person is trying to come back around i don't know if you're really up for it especially with this keys on a ring like i feel like this person is trying to string you along and you know this already not today yeah you ain't trying to hear that because you are the phoenix. You are you are understanding. You are done dealing with these old games that this person keeps trying to play. Like, I feel like you do love them, but you also know that you can love from a distance, okay? They want to try again, but it's like you already know. You know that they're in other people's gardens, you know? They out here messing with other people, dating other people, kissing on other people, and you just ready for something new. You're ready to be wild and free, okay? So, Leo... We'll get you and your partner here. Leo, you have masks, not showing true feelings. Okay, hiding. Okay, pretending, deluding, gaslighting. Okay, I do just feel like you're just trying to hide away from this person. You're not trying to deal with this energy that's coming towards you. Because again, you know that something is up with them, okay? They have keys on a ring, which was underneath the deck. Many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Like I said, you know that this person is out here playing games. Like they don't, they, their intentions aren't the greatest and you know that, you feel it. And that's why I feel like you're not, you know, really trying to express yourself. You're not really trying to mess with them. I feel like if this person do come around and they talk to you, like you're just acting like you care, whatever, but you, you already know, you know that they're trying to prove something. Okay. Cassette underneath the deck. Yeah. Outdated thinking, conditioning, or playing events over in your head. It's the uh, sunshine because your lies ain't working now. Look who's hurting now. See, I had to shut you down. I had to shut you down. Play the fool before. Yeah, so it's like right now you just out here like. <laughs> are you playing a game here, Leo? <laughs> you are because you know what the hell is up. So you're playing a game too. You're gaslighting them and making them feel some kind of way because they, you, they think that they're playing you. They about to learn a hard ass lesson with you right now. That's what I'm getting. They're about to learn a hard-ass lesson with you because I feel like you're not showing them your true intentions because you know that they're full of shit. This person might be coming back because they're broke. 
You could have been like their cash cow in their eyes. All right. Their financial support, their stability. <laughs> this is why this person's coming back around. The grass was not greener on the other side. Okay. Yep. <laughs> they, oh, I don't want to cheat no more. <laughs> She broke. She ain't you. <laughs> you the one. Oh, you got that new job. Oh, you got that new house. Oh, you got that new car. Can I please come stay with you? Please, please, please. <laughs> I miss you, Leo. Don't you remember this? Yeah, I do. I do. And I woke up from that shit with this unfounded fear. You're right. That tower hit. I woke up and realized what the hell was going on. So let's get five cards here, Spirit, for our lovely Leos. See if we can go back to keeping the readings kind of short and sweet. Yeah, destructive behaviors no more. <laughs> destructive behaviors no more. With that in reverse, like and everything else upright, yeah, this is definitely in reverse. Destructive behaviors no more. You're no longer dealing with this person and their bull. Okay, you understand and know what's going on. You know that they're trying to come back around and revive this relationship. But you're onto something new and better, okay? And that is the change. That is the sudden change that has happened here. Okay, and I feel like they're going to be shocked when they find out that you have ended this cycle. Okay, that you're done with them. They're going to learn the lesson the hard way here because they're coming back trying to string you along. But you're playing the game with them. You've learned the game. Okay, I feel like, you know, you already know about this person, your, your friends, your family, whoever have already told you, you have already learned. I feel like you also got support from others in your background, people who are backing you and supporting you and the decisions you're making in regards to dealing with this energy and this person. Okay. But yeah, this person going to come back around and try to offer you some little page of cups. But they're still deceptive. They're still sneaking. They're still lying. Like I said, they're only coming back because they're dealing with some burdens in their life and they need your help. They need your financial resources. They need your stability to do block their ass out with that fire energy right there with your energy, Leo. Okay? Block their ass out. Ain't nobody got time for that. You done got yourself together. Play the game. Play the game. This person want to play games? Play the game. Yep, they could have probably went back to a family situation that just did not work out for them, okay? That person probably drained them, was blocking them. They realized, like I said, the grass was not greener on the other side. And now they want to come back and, you know, get what they can out of you. This is an energy vampire. They need your energy and your resources so that they can go back and be some bootlegged-ass emperor for somebody else, Okay? Yeah, this person had you really tied up in your head in the past here. I see here the energy of you moving forward here and just no longer wanting to deal with this person with that Nine of Wands energy at the end. I also feel that this person is also on the defense as well. Um, they probably try to use passion as a tactic. You probably just, you know, try to talk to this person and let them know what it was. But they just try to use, like, sexual energy or, like, passion or whatever. They try to come in with too much action or whatever. And you're just like, you know what, I just... We just needed to talk and get this stuff cleared out. Like, you know what? I'm not even playing this with you because I know that when you come in, you try to get caught, get me caught up in my emotions and caught up in my head. I'm not dealing with this. And I feel like you're moving forward here towards calmer waters. Yeah, you need to continue to let this person go because they're going to keep you in third parties, okay? And like I said, you know this already. So you're just playing a game. I feel like some of you, like I said, already have someone as well. And you're just completely dead and letting this past person go, this person who keeps trying to come around. Only because they need they need your energy. They need what it is that you provide, okay? They're a drug. It's very codependent. Okay, yeah, for this person, it's over. They know it's over. It could be a Scorpio. I feel like this energy keeps wanting to try to come back, though, and transform the situation or change the situation. But I'm hearing that Einstein quote, like, you can't come in doing the same shit expecting a different result. Like, that's insanity. And it's, I almost feel like this person is, like, almost driving themselves crazy, you know, um, kind of feeling, like, depressed, a little defensive or whatever. Um, I feel like they would <laughs> definitely because they're picking up that you understand the game here. You have truth and clarity. You understand the game here. You done came out of this mental um, incarceration you were in. OK. And you've moved forward here, like emotionally and all of that, like you just dead them, like you done moved on to someone new. You let them come around to play. I feel like whatever it was that they came to offer you. Even if it was like jewelry or whatever, food, whatever, it don't even matter. I feel like you took that junk and you set them on their way. They probably thought that whatever they gave you, if they did come in, like probably try to show you with like some little gift or whatever, you took it and they thought that they was back in your good graces, but you was like, nah, just thank you for the gifts, bro. Well do. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I do feel that this person, like they could just also be finally realizing that it's over. Like they're going to see that you have someone else that you're moving forward and that you was playing the game just like them and they're going to move forward. But they're going to be very fucking butthurt. Okay. 
Yeah, because you're you've healed, you're healing, the situation has healed. Okay, you're going after what it is that you wish and you desire. Okay. I feel like you have been very open, very honest, could be dealing with an Aquarius here, but you're very open and you're very honest here, okay? Like naked. You just expose yourself with no problem. Said what you had to say. You knew that you were grounded in what it was, you know, you pour more into yourself. You gave them a little bit of what they needed. Like I said, played the game. You played the game, but you poured more into yourself this time and you gave them the little stream. And I feel like at the end of the day, it kind of left them feeling like they're stuck in that little stream of emotions right here that you gave them. And now they're on a defense and because they know this shit is over. You were once their wish fulfillment, but I feel like you're getting the last laugh now. Okay? This person thought that they'd be able to play you and whatever, but you're getting the last laugh. Okay? You see the bigger picture with this diversity here. So spirit... Yeah, you see the bigger picture. You're no longer getting caught up and trapped into their game. So, Spirit, we thank you as we close out here for our Leos. What is a message from the Akashic Tarot for our Leos, please, Spirit? Yeah, definitely happening right now in the winter season. Or it could be next winter, but we're still in winter season. So, or by the end of winter seasons. Spirit, one card here for our Leos. One card. Oh, I'll take the two that is upright or looking at us. So don't play in a garden and don't smell her flowers. It came back out again. Like I said, you are no longer reflecting on the situation, okay? You know what the hell is going on. You're working on your own stability. Some of you could be parents here with these children cards. But I also feel that, you know, you're just focused on something new, okay? You went back within yourself, focused on your inner child, did a lot of healing, a lot of work here with that star energy. And you're just moving on to something better, a clearer days, okay? You're no longer in the dark here, the days are sunny. The sun is coming through. The clouds are breaking. All right. And you're seeing the bigger picture. You are. OK, this person is definitely out of time with the sands of time in reverse. They're out of time. There's nothing left that they can do. You no longer want to invest. There's no equal give and take. And like I said, a lot of you guys, most of you guys is getting the last laugh out of the situation. So, yeah, Leo, that has been your reading. Again, if you want to book a personal, that information is below. One question, $15 now, guys. Um, some other little readings up there as well. But yeah, holla at your girl until the next time we speak. Peace out.